Welcome to the Crazy 10 or Less. This is a show where I give it to you in 10 minutes or under. And if I don't, I will owe you something. Anyway, who are you? What is your purpose? What is your identity? That's the topic of the day. I'm Sam the Crazy Man Vera. Stop acting up. Let's get it. So, I always talk with the so. I recently, George and I were recently on a podcast panel for NBN Con, um, which is a virtual panel, and it'll air at the end of the month in August. Uh, I think it's the 28th or 29th on NBN. If you go to NBN.com, you'll see, or NBNCon.com. And we were on the panel with a bunch of other podcasters. And one of the podcasters uh, basically talked about identity, authenticity. And I thought, and it's, and it really struck a chord with me because I think we all struggle with like, who do we want to be in this arena? Um, and in the context of that conversation, the fact that the market is so heavily saturated because of the social distancing and the um, everyone's using Zoom and all these other video platforms. Your mom, your grandma, your uncle, your dog in the yard is filming <coughs> with the other dogs. So then you, you compound that with the imitators, right? So what I what do I mean by the imitators? Those that jump on the tail end of something that went viral. And you see it all the time, right? You have a podcast that's very successful, and then you have all of the podcasters coming out trying to mimic that, assuming they're going to have that same level of success. Or you have someone doing uh, dancing, and everyone else is doing that same move to the same song um, because they went viral, so I want to go viral too. Um, everyone's looking for that hook, that instant fame, that instant gratification. But the ones who actually started that trend, the reason why they were successful, because when they did it, their intent, intent was to be funny or their intent was to do something different that they found appealing and nine times out of ten you don't anticipate it going viable because you're doing something different unorthodox or whatever it is then you have the repeats so coming back into podcasting that was the question that george and i you know presented to each other was who do we want to be so before i answer that i'm going to go into uh, a doc, the documentary that I'd seen, what was it, um, uh, The Hell I Will with Tom McFarlane that was on the Sci-Fi channel. And here is an example of a man, a creator, a visionary that said, and here's a, here's a quote that he had. He says, I guess we're all just tired, uh, wired different. I just got to the point where I got tired of people telling me what I can and can't do in my life. So he led the charge to the, for the other artists and creators to leave Marvel back in the days. But it wasn't just out of spite or to be a rebel. It was because the, the creator in him the artistic expression, he knew he could do things in a way that would be more appealing because he enjoyed it. And the response was there when he was doing Spider-Man um, at Marvel. And so he went and did Spawn and maintained and still stood doing Spawn beyond 300 issues. Right? You can't copy and paste because there's only one Todd. You can't copy and paste because there's only one Steve Jobs, right? You can try to mimic, but what made these guys successful was you knew who that person was, is. 
you saw their DNA, their soul, and understood. This is who Todd is. This is what I'm going to get from Todd. This is who Steve Jobs is. This is what I'm going to get from Steve Jobs. This is Joe Rogan. This is what I expect to get from Joe Rogan because that's been his DNA from jump. Right? There's a quote on success.com um, by Jack Canfield. If you can tune into your purpose and really align with it, setting goals so that your vision is an expression of that purpose, then life flows much more easily. It takes a while to understand who you are or what you want to do in life. You know, I think we're always growing. We're always searching. Um, but I think there's one thing you can't avoid, your DNA. And I think when you want to go into podcasting, it's like, damn, this is kind of deep. But when you, when, if you want to go into podcasting or any kind of platform that you're going to put you um, in the public eye, the worst, last thing, the worst thing you can do for yourself is be someone else. Because you're going to be identified as a fraud. Right? So that's why I started with the question, who are you? Who do you want to be? It's probably the most important question we're faced with as we're going through this journey in life. In a world with noise. Shut up! In a world with with profiling, in a world with conditioning, we're conditioned from the moment we start talking. But I could tell you when I was, come, George and I were trying to figure out who we wanted to be, you know, we landed on just us. I'm going to be me. George is going to be him. You know, George is always the, the cool sound, you know, sound level-headed guy. And I've always been the unorthodox guy. That's just who I am. I've always been that way. If you know me, anyone who's close to me knows that Sam's a little off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? So, and you're going to love it or hate it. You know? And, you know, and I think that's what it is. If you succumb to the pressure um, of what people, people's opinion of you and what they think of you, then you failed. You lost your way, and you have to find your way back. And I think that is the biggest thing um, that guides me, right? Because I've been told throughout my entire career, because you know everyone knows that this is what I do on the side, but you know paying the bills, I pay the bills, I have a, a, a real-time job, and in leadership role. And I've always been responsible for lots of people, sometimes hundreds of people. And, you know, millions of dollars in business. And so with that responsibility, I always knew that the, the, the key to my success was the health of the team. Because I'm the team. I'm part of that team. I was that same person. I was that security guard at an airport wondering... Who cares about me? I've been here for eight hours and I haven't had a lunch break, a bathroom break. I'm standing on post. What's going on? You know, where you, you, you just start a new job. There's no training. They throw you somewhere and you have to navigate. And if you screw up, you, you risk losing your job. But you can't say no one trained me because you're just expendable. I remember being that guy. And I said, if I was ever in a position of authority, I'm going to make certain that I don't repeat that same mistake and anybody under my leadership, any of the management team responsible for team members that I'd ensure that they understood that philosophy, right? When you people, when your business, but that means I had to be true to myself. That means I wasn't very corporate minded. I was people focused. We talk people, but we really are going after data, right? So we want KPIs, right? Right, key performance indicators. We're looking for metrics. So it's that what in the business world they put first before they put people. But people are the ones who deliver those metrics. So take care of them and everything else will fall into play. So because of that, I've always been told that I didn't get it. I was too soft, blah, blah, blah. But I've always delivered the results and built great teams. So I knew that I was doing something right. And I've always had the respect of the teams. So I wasn't going to change because of the pressure 
it emboldened me to challenge the status quo. Hence why I do what I do in comics and podcasting. I didn't conform to the standard rules of engagement. I said, there's got to be another way. What do you mean I can't talk to that guy? What do you mean I can't get in the newspaper because I don't have notoriety? Why do you mean I can't get on that radio show because no one knows who I am? How are they going to know? Well, I'm going to get on that video. I'm going to get on that show. And I think when you have that mindset where you want to break boundaries and you want to push past the status quo, that's what's going to make you who you are and easily recognizable in the eyes of the audience because we're always on stage. So when people see you, can they honestly say, this is who this person is? When they hear your radio show, your podcast, they can say, well, I know I'm going to get from Geeks Unlimited, whatever, I'm just throwing out a name, that this is who these guys are. These guys are genuine, they're, they're authentic. They're not trying to be anybody else. I know that I'm, if I'm with this guy, he has my back 100% of the way, so I'm, I feel safe. Know your purpose in a world that's so noisy, that is so congested. Don't try to mimic, don't try to copy. Be you. What is your vision for yourself? What does that look like? Did it look like that from the beginning? Because if it didn't, you're going to have a hard road. Because you've identified your vision. Now the look, it has to be one of the same. It has to be connected to your DNA, your identity. Because if you fail if you don't. So this is a different subject matter. I was a little deeper. But uh, I felt it was a good... Uh, segue, um, and I wanted to give some examples, and I'd love to hear your opinion about that, but if you're going to podcast, be the best damn podcast that you can be. Don't try to be like anybody else. Be in the, whatever you do, be you. All right? And the universe will take care of you. I'm Sam the Crazy Man Vera. This is the Crazy Ten or Less. We have our 200th episode on Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Join us. We need Three more subs to start the raffle. We have to get to 200 to celebrate our 200 episode. I hope to see you there. If you're listening to the show, join us Wednesday night, 8 p.m. on YouTube. Eastern Standard Time, right? New York time. Peace.